your way adventuring through Japan's landscape and away from erupting Mount Fuji. Don't leave your team behind, otherwise everyone loses. This is Fuji Board Game, what is it about? In this video we're going to show you what to expect from Fuji and if you watch till the end we hope you can decide whether or not this game is for you. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Meeple University, we bring you a variety of quality board game videos. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and do hit the bell to be notified of when we post new videos. Now let's find out more about Fuji, designed by the famous Wolfgang Walsh and published by Capstone Games. Released in 2018, Fuji is a cooperative dice management game set on an erupting Japanese volcano. It was designed by Wolfgang Walsh and published in the US by Capstone Games. The game plays two to four players cooperatively with an estimated duration of 30 to 45 minutes. It has medium complexity concepts but plays as a light to medium game once you're familiar. Thematically, players play as a team of adventurers caught on Mount Fuji during an eruption and they need to escape back to the village represented by these yellow bordered tiles before they are swallowed by lava which will advance at one space per round through this map, as well as without running out of stamina. This is done through a series of dice management puzzles, and so let's strip the game back to its mechanics and understand how it plays. To start each round, all players roll their dice, either five or six depending on their character, behind a screen. Each die has a color, red, yellow or blue, and a number from one to six. Each player then chooses a card within a range of three from the current location of his or her meeple, which at the bottom shows a dice objective in which he or she believes that he or she can be the highest. Say the green player chose this tile. Here, he or she intends to have a higher pip value among all red and blue dice than any other player, or in a four player game, than any neighboring player. When the dice are ultimately revealed, the player and each neighbor total up the dice which match that objective. Here, the green player has 16, the black player has 10, and the purple player has eight. If the player has the highest, then he or she gets to move. If not, he or she would have stayed put. Then check the difference between that player's total and the next highest. In this case, it's 16 minus 10 is a difference of six. Look that value up on your difficulty card and then lose the appropriate amount of stamina. Here, with a highest total of six, the player would lose one stamina. And there are four different difficulty levels that you can play with in the game. As such, the ultimate aim is not just to have the highest value in your objective, but to have the highest by a comfortable margin because over the course of a long game, each player needs to maintain positive stamina, as well as move quickly enough to avoid the lava. All players are completing this simultaneously, using the same set of dice to try to meet their own objectives. So here, while green was trying to roll high on reds and blues, purple was simultaneously trying to roll high on yellows and blues. Where objectives overlap like this, there's a high chance that one of the players may fail. Of course, each round is not decided by a single roll of the dice. After choosing objectives, each player may be entitled to one or two re-rolls, but the number of re-rolls that a player has reduces the further the player is trying to move in the same round. Players also have special skills or access to equipment cards which they can use to mitigate their die rolls. Players need to strategically and cooperatively use these bonuses and these re-rolls to both improve at their own objectives and to reduce their own threat to another player's objectives. And in particular, they need to do anything they can to help out a player who's about to be swallowed by lava or about to run out of stamina. However, Fuji is a limited communication game. The dice are hidden from the other players and players are not allowed to tell each other exactly what their dice say. 
Instead, communication is limited to a general or qualitative description. For example, a player could take an objective and say, oh, I've got high confidence or I've got medium confidence of meeting that objective. While another player could say, yeah, I don't think I'm much of a threat to you there. This general communication allows players to hint to each other at how they should be doing their rerolls without turning the game into a deterministic math puzzle. As the game wears on and players' stamina decreases, they will suffer injuries which will limit their abilities to use their skills or rerolls or even cost them to lose a die. And this escalates the game's difficulty as you get towards the end. If all players can get to a village card without running out of stamina or being swallowed by lava, then the players win the game. And that's what to expect from Fuji. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope that it helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking the like button, write your questions or feedback in the comment sections below. You can also join our Facebook group, Mipple University Community, to share your love of board games. And finally, if you'd like to be among the first notified of what's new from Meeple University, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can click on the Meeple up in the corner to do so, and do hit the bell to be notified of our new videos. Until next time!